welcome to another episode of Friday Morning Fuel. I am your host, Coach Mary, and welcome back. Today we are going to be making a breakfast frittata with asparagus, leek, and ricotta. So doing the research for this recipe, this is going to come together very quickly, and this will all finish up in about the 20 minute time span that we have for this episode. So we're gonna need a couple of things and I've already done a couple of steps to save us some time in particular. I've got my cast iron skillet here that I have already preheated. It's got oil in it. We're gonna be using the cast iron skillet because it's gonna go into the oven under the broiler to finish it out. And then I've got my ingredients already off to the side and prepped. So for this, we're gonna need eight large eggs one quarter cup of creme fraiche. We'll talk a little bit more about what creme fraiche is later on. We've got one pound of asparagus already stemmed and trimmed. And I've also got three cups of leeks. So leeks are very similar to onions and spring onions, uh, kind of a different flavor and not as pungent as your traditional onion. I've also got a couple of things that we're going to dollop on top at the end, some ricotta and some pesto sauce. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start us off by sauteing our vegetables. The vegetables are going to go into the pan. The oil is already nice and hot. We're going to get them softened, so about five or six minutes of cook time. And while that's happening, I'm going to go ahead and mix together our eggs, our cream fresh, and our salt and our pepper. So. If it gets a little loud, just bear with me. We're just sauteing um, our vegetables here, and I can't really do much about the ambient noise here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our asparagus. And we're going to add our green onion. I'm sorry, our leeks. This is going to take me a while to get used to because it looks exactly like green onion. All right, so right now in the pan, it already looks like a lot, but this is going to cook down as it loses water and moisture. So we're going to keep an eye on this for a few minutes. And while this is going, I'm going to go ahead and mix together our eggs. Perfect. We're going to go ahead and let that go here. All right. So I'm going to be using eight large eggs here. Um, Eggshells can be reused. I like to save them for my plant. So I'll usually wash them and then dry them, let them air dry, and then put them through like a food processor to get them to a finer ground. All right. Here we go. So eight eggs. I'm going to set my eggshells off to the side because I'm going to reuse them later and then I'm going to wash my hands before I come back to this. Hope you guys are having a good new year so far. January went by so fast and now we're in February which is the shortest month of the year but we've also got a leap year so one whole extra day. Very nice. All right, we're still going with the eggs. So I did a lot of prep work ahead of time for this. I am not the fastest chef in the kitchen. So I like to have all of my stuff prepped ahead of time, especially for a recipe like this where it's going to come together very quickly. All right, last few eggs. All right, I'm going to wash my hands, come right back, and we're going to add in our other ingredients to our eggs. If you're just now joining us, hello and welcome. We're testing out a new format for Friday Morning Fuel. So... Let me know how it goes. If you can't see anything, if you can't hear anything, 
Uh, we'll be doing a few more episodes like this throughout the year. So I want to make sure that it's a good experience for everyone. Give this a nice little stir. All right, we're going to whisk together our eggs. All right, so we're going to add in one quarter cup of creme fraiche. And so creme fraiche is just a French cultured cream. You can find this in like a specialty grocery store. I had to go to Whole Foods to get this one in particular. But it is most similar to sour cream or Mexican crema. It's very thick has kind of a nutty and tangy flavor. It's a little bit different than both sour cream and crema though. You can almost use them interchangeably. They just have different properties. All right, so our cream is going to add a bit more body to our eggs. I'm going to add in some salt and some pepper. All right, if you're with me so far, thank you. I have never made this recipe before, so you are viewing this live, real time. Just like me, we're going to add in a half teaspoon of salt. I'm just going to save myself a utensil and just add in a bit of a pinch. Some pepper. Give it one more stir. All right, so here's where it's going to come together fairly quickly. We're going to add our egg and creme fraiche mixture to the pan. We're going to let this kind of solidify, cook up for about a minute and a half, two minutes. Once it's got a bit more of a solid texture, we're going to put this under the broiler. Actually, we're going to add a couple of dollops of uh, pesto and ricotta on top before we put it in under the broiler. All right, so here we go. I'm going to give this one last stir. This smells really good, by the way. Okay. All right, so we've added this egg mixture to our pan. Don't want to grab a hot cast iron pan. All right. We're just going to kind of tilt it side to side, trying to get the uh, parts in the middle to cook a bit more. All right, so I'm scooping kind of away from the edges to get underneath so that the uncooked egg can kind of move into that space. All 
All right, we're gonna let this solidify for another minute or two, and then we're gonna add a little bit of fancy topping. So for fancy topping today, we've got a nice, lovely, just basil pesto sauce, and we've got some part skim ricotta cheese. The part skim ricotta cheese, cause it's got a little bit less fat moisture in it. I'm just gonna give this a little stir to make it a bit or a better consistency for when we dollop. There we go. All right, like I said, this is my first one of this recipe, so I am gonna give this just like another minute or so to just solidify a bit. All right, so super simple. All these ingredients you can find right at the grocery store. This will all come together, cook up in about 20 minutes, making sure that you have everything prepped ahead of time. So we did preheat our oven. We preheated the broiler. Right now I have it on a high setting and I moved the oven rack to about the upper third of the oven rather than the middle of the oven. That's going to help kind of bake in the top and as well as everything that we dollop on top. The creme fraiche, like I said, you could probably find it at a specialty grocery store. I looked for it in like Harris Teeter, so a local grocery chain, and didn't find it. But I was able to find it when I went to Whole Foods. And so this is creme fraiche. Like I said, it is um, just a French like fresh cream. It's most similar to sour cream and Mexican crema if you've ever had that. So sour cream originated in Eastern Europe and is now the most common cultured cream in the US. But because it has a much lower fat content and a higher protein content, it tends to curdle when it's applied to heat, which is why we're not using it here. And it's most frequently used as a topping. Mexican crema. So crema is from Mexico. It's a little bit thinner and it has a milder and almost sweeter taste but very similar like tanginess. If you've ever had Greek yogurt, that kind of tanginess and a bit of a sweetness. So it's often used to balance out like the spiciness in foods from peppers. Okay, so this is firmed up nicely. We're gonna go ahead and just dollop our ricotta cheese around. I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of pesto, which I guess you could always Measure with your heart if you wanted a bit more pesto. Okay. We're gonna try to balance this out. Pesto is also a nice sauce that you could easily make at home. It's pretty much basil as the base. And then it's got pine nuts, sometimes Parmesan cheese, olive oil, blend it all together. All right, so now that this is ready, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. We're gonna pop this under the broiler here. All right, so since our pan is gonna be a lot closer to our heating element, we are really gonna have to keep an eye on it. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on that oven light. I'm gonna set a timer for about two minutes or so. Again, it's on high heat. It's pretty much all the way solidified and cooked through. This is really just to zap kind of the top portion and everything that we dalloped on top. So this might be our fastest episode of Friday Morning Fuel yet. So if you liked that it was speedy, let me know. And uh, yeah, okay, so. Two minutes here, we're gonna bring it back out. It says to let it stand for a few minutes just to let it cool. You could slide it out and serve it on a platter. So the frittata, since it's entirely an egg base with vegetable mixture, um, it's a pretty low carb breakfast. So if that's an eating style that you're currently into, um, this might be a great option for you. If you need a little bit more carbohydrates for energy and fuel, um, it could easily pair with some oatmeal or you could add in some like fresh fruits some blueberries some strawberries would be a nice addition to it as well. 
All right, we're looking good here. And like I said, this all came together in just like a few minutes. I did prep the asparagus and the leeks beforehand. That was super simple. Quick wash, uh, quick chop. So the oven, so the oven is just the broiler right now. So the broiler is the top heating element. It's good to like brown things. It's usually a finishing apparatus or a finishing method. It's not necessarily like a cooking method. Lovely. All right. Everybody's ovens are slightly different. So I'm going to go ahead and let mine go just a little bit longer. So that is something to keep in mind when you're trying out new recipes like I did now. If you cook a lot, you have a better idea of how your um, oven and stove, what their outputs are. So I know for us, our stove top goes really hot really fast. So for me, like a medium high heat is on the dial from zero to 10. Like it's like a four, it gets very hot very quickly. Same thing with the oven. The oven kind of takes a little bit longer. Ooh, this looks fabulous. Okay, we're gonna pull this out. Oh, this smells heavenly. Very nice. All right. So final result here. We got a little bit of browning on top. Nicely done. Ricotta, I could have spread that out a bit more to get it more um, melted. But other than that, we're going to let this stand and then slice it up here. And that's pretty much all I've got for Friday morning fuel today. So we wrapped everything up in under 20 minutes. That's how fast this recipe came together. Like I said, all I grabbed beforehand was the leeks and the asparagus, and that took all of five minutes to prep. So breakfast, you can have it on the table. It looks very aesthetically pleasing. So if you need something to serve a large group or a family brunch get together on the weekend, this might be a great option for you. I'm going to share, I've already shared the recipe for this in our team's channel. So if you haven't already seen it there, um, you can find the recipe there. And for those of you who are watching on Instagram Live, I can go ahead and link the recipe and give it a shout out in the caption as well. All right. And that's going to be a wrap. Thank you guys so much for hopping on to Friday Morning Fuel. Have a great weekend. We'll see you guys next month for the next episode. Thank you.